Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we're doing a sandwich of regional history, specifically one from Philadelphia and uh, McNally's. We're going to be doing the Schmitter. Now this was created by Hugh James McNally for one of the patrons who used to sit at the bar and drink lots of local beer, Schmidt. His name was Dennis Krenich. Now I, why this is not called the Krenich, I don't know, but it's called the Schmitter. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. I should point out that I'm following a recipe that I found at Savour.com. I don't know if it's 100% correct, but I'm going to trust them. So the first thing we got to do is make the Schmitter sauce, sweet pickle relish, mayonnaise, ketchup, and Worcestershire sauce. Or for our friends in England, Worcester. We set that aside. Now in a pan with some melted butter, on one side we put a stack of roast beef, and on the other side, thinly sliced onion. Now we flip the roast beef, cook it on that side for a minute. Now we flip the onions and put the beef on top of them. Then we lay down cooked salami, slice of white American cheese, slices of tomato. We cook that for about two minutes. Now onto a split Kaiser roll. We add a slice of American cheese on each side and broil until melty. Now we take our salami, flip it over onto the stack over here. Then we put all that mess on our bottom bun. And then we top with our Schmitter sauce and our top bun. Okay, let's give this Schmitter sandwich a go. It is tasty. No surprise there. The onions got a little caramelization. Uh, you saw that the meat, both the salami and the roast beef, got some caramelization. Tomatoes are nice, uh, fresh, and I now understand why it's so thick, because this is a monster sandwich. Um, it is tasty, but I do want to plus it up. I'm going to add some pickled jalapenos. A little heat, a little pickly pop. I was going to add cherry peppers, but I just did that recently, so I thought I'd switch it up. Okay, let's give this rapidly deteriorating Schmitter sandwich plussed up with pickled jalapenos a go. Yeah, I had to go hose off there. <laughs> that was quite a mess. It's delicious though. I'm a little surprised by how much sauce the recipe called for. Something tells me that's not quite right. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, because if you're eating that at a bar, it would get everywhere. It was a tasty combination. I liked that uh, combo of the big thick tomato with the caramelized meats and the onion uh, and the cheese. I I gotta give that like a nine. That was really fantastic. Plus up with the pickled jalapeno peppers, I'm gonna go nine and a half. It is delicious. I'm definitely gonna finish that. I don't know that I would make this again, but if I go to Philadelphia, I'm probably gonna go get one because it is tasty. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.